The grow results of my master blend versus general hydroponics are in. And although there might be a little bit of debate as to which one is the clear winner, I think once the cost is factored in, it's pretty easy to see which one I'm gonna be using from now on. To begin this test, I began by taking reverse osmosis of water and putting three gallons into each pail. The master blend comes in three different packages. You got the tomato formula, which is the core. Then you have to add magnesium sulfate and finally calcium nitrate. I'm gonna be using a mix for 10 liters of water, which is 6.4 of the part one, 3.2 of the magnesium sulfate and 6.4 of the calcium nitrate. Now, one thing I do like about the Master Blend series is that it's a dry compound. So these things take up way less room in my grow closet and they're much cheaper to ship. Once I have all the nutrients measured out, I'll begin by putting in the first part and I'll stir them until everything is fully dissolved. This is recommended by the manufacturer and the reason why you do this is you don't want any precipitates coming out of the solution. So make sure between every step, if you're using the Master Blend, totally dissolve that stuff before you go on to adding the next nutrient. I did find with the Master Blend, this stuff dissolved extremely well. There was nothing left in the bottom of the pail. It dissolved completely. Awesome. After the part one is dissolved, I'm gonna go ahead and measure the 3.2 grams of the magnesium sulfate and dissolve that as well. And here you can see there is nothing left over. Anything that is in the pail is just literally from my hands coming off working with the grow as well. I'll give that a thorough mix and I'll go on to the next one. Finally, the calcium nitrate, 6.4 grams of that, and we'll mix that in as well. Here you can see it at the bottom, but after a little bit of mixing, there is nothing left. It completely dissolves, very pleased about that. Now for the general hydroponic series, I'm gonna use the same tried and trusted mix that I'm using in my current Dutch bucket grow. Once I have that mixed up, I'll mix all the parts in the sequence recommended by the manufacturer. And in the case of this test, I'm actually using the five part nutrient series. So I'm adding the Cali Mag and I'm also adding the Armor SI. And there's the recipe that I'm using. Now that the nutrients are all mixed up, I'm gonna make sure that I pH them both to about six. I've found six works really good as a starting point for pH. Then I'm gonna do my typical setup with uh, net cups, line them with cheesecloth, add the perlite to about a quarter inch from the top. Then I'll put the irrigation in and I'll start the seeds. I'm going to be using peas, clover, and daikon radishes for this test. As you can see, there's no shortage of seeds. I just dumped a bunch in to make sure that there's lots. After that, a little bit of perlite's gonna go on top to cover up the seeds, and my grow is ready to get started. After a few days, once the seeds pop, I'm gonna take my eighth teaspoon of great white, mix that up into a 200 ml container, and I'll evenly distribute that on both sides. Now, the only reason I use this stuff pretty religiously is I get just fantastic roots and I get no problem with brown roots. It just eliminates problems for me. Here's a quick 30 second-ish grow montage before we take a look at the results. As you can see, the side-by-side -side comparisons are pretty equal on both. That is the clover in the master blend. That is general hydroponics. Are those two side-by-side? -side? Straighten this root out. That is quite the root on the master blend for that one. All right, uh, up next we'll take out the winter field peas. And the root. Oh, this is not good. I don't know if you can see this. Try to get in there. Your root is attached to the other root from the daikon radish. So I'll do my best to not completely murder this thing. Nice pearly white roots. So I'll put that one down. Well, same deal with the roots. 
Yeah, I must have torn the other roots off when I took it out. Again, a nice set of roots on here. Here's the two side by side. Much nicer roots on the ones on the right for this one. But as mentioned, I think I ripped some of the ones off on this one. But we'll find out here in a bit when we pull the radishes out. Alrighty, daikon radishes, here we go. Pretty grown around the irrigation. Oh, what a set of roots. And greens. Wow, there is just roots for days here. And I am definitely ripping some of these off. They've, they're around the cords, they're around everything inside the pail. So here's uh, the root cluster. And you can see I kind of ripped some. Oh, that even smells good. It smells like fresh radishes. All right, let's get this guy out of here. Same deal, roots are wrapped around everything. All right, here's the roots on this one. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of both of them. And very equal. You can see some of the roots that I've torn on this one. And if we get a little closer, there is a nice radish out of the bottom of this one and also out of this one. The master blend, I think, is clearly a little bit bigger. And I gotta say, these uh, air roots are looking pretty solid, better on the master blend. With the roots kind of stripped, this is what we're left with for the general hydroponics. We'll do the same for the, we'll do the same for the master blend. Okay, so there is the master blend and you can see I busted off one of them. All right, so master blend again on the left and general hydroponics on the right. To me right here, you can clearly see, I think one is a better product. Let's separate them out a little bit. But these are quite a bit thicker on the master blend than the general hydroponics. Let's take a look at the cost breakdown. As you can see here, the uh, General Hydroponic Series costs about 9.7 cents per liter to mix, whereas the Master Blend Series only costs about 2.9 cents per liter to mix. The shipping is also much cheaper because you're shipping a granule versus shipping a pre-dissolved liquid. You're essentially paying to just ship water around. So here's the inside of the pails after we're all said and done. See the master blend? Still more roots down there. Nice clean solution. And the general hydroponics. Both of them smell good, nothing stank in either one of them. So I think they're both quite healthy. Alrighty, next I'm gonna test the parts per million or see how much is left over for nutrient. This one is showing 395 and we have 508 for the general hydroponics. Well, that one climbed up a bit. A pH looks to be between a 6 and a 6.5, so still with a nutrient range, so that one's good. Next, we'll check the pH in the general hydroponics. All right, so finishing pH on this one, I would say probably like a 
so a little bit lower than the master blend but both are within nutrient range so that's good so i'm going to take now and clean up this whole mess and uh the boss is going to give me a hand but she does not want to be in the video so we're going to keep her out of there we're going to start up the next experiment which is going to be a reverse osmosis versus regular tap water so if you want to see that one when it comes out it'll be up on the side <laughs> 